come on men and back spiritual deals telling you you never know when someone can turn their back on you this is why i say always focus focus on yourself brother but yeah man you understand the cold truth about everything i tell you you've got to know the harsh reality and the harsh truth about this world and see a lot of a lot of us never want to come to realization of it sit down and just think about it like wow i really am a one-man army wow no one's really got my back because once you realize you're like your own army out here no one really has your back you'll understand not to even invest time into people see that's what i learned over time now that i've been on my spiritual journey for a little bit and i've just been elevating silently it's like what do you need to put the attention on other people it's like that's what i realized last night what do i need to put the attention on other people for this is why people treat me with respect and yeah i mean they treat me with um kindness and generosity now because they realize i don't need them so it's like they have to show me that sort of side but see when you show people that side where you just stick around and you're not abundant and you're just they're scared uh, like in a scarcity mindset of losing them trust me they'll show you how they really feel about you I literally this fight is learn to just only put the attention on me and what serves me I'm telling you whatever has your best benefit put your energy into it if you don't then don't even bother say like your neighbors or yeah i mean your i don't know just people that don't concern you bro don't be talking to these people just because they're there who cares if they're there don't don't be moving under your friend or you know i mean your buddy or whatever because I, that's what i realized they're not bro i'm telling you a lot of people out here just really have bad bad attention to you and that's all because of the hatred that they have within i'm telling you people harbor a lot of hate within inside this matrix and they project it out with itchy and they project it out on others but i'm telling you it's like in a if i know i know what these people go through these people that have no youtube channel and no like social media platform and just all up in this matrix bowl they they play so much tricks and games in other people's lives it's like they feel like can run it on anyone's life but see i'm telling you when they when they come across the wrong person trust me they, they all find out and they will learn bro because see it's just that look that they'll have on their face when 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 you when you see them again i'm telling you it's like they'll have that look like oh so you don't need me i'm telling you bro the the thing that the, the thing that i realized and came across out here and the thing that i took heed on is bro you don't need people literally you don't need to invest into these people so don't feel like you have to be speaking to this person and being friendly to this person yeah you know i mean giving your hand out to this person this that because you could do everything on your own without no help no nothing i'm telling you do things without help so no one can say that they helped you with the process of getting where you are and yeah you know i mean so they can i'm telling you bro just do everything on your own don't involve people in the operation on the outside because see they'll always mess it up i'm telling you one thing you've got to get in the habit of is not trusting a lot of these folks out here because see they just have malicious intentions without i'm telling you bro the people have malicious intentions about you even knowing out here and that's all because of what they've been through in their life and it's like they want to transfer it onto you but man you can't be allowing that you just got understand to just roll through life and just let fit people individuals and things find you in life that's what i'd be doing now i don't be investing into random people like there's random people out here now and trying to make people my friends yeah i mean people from the past be my friend because i'm telling you no one really has your your, your best intentions like that or your best interest and this is why i always say put yourself first and your goals and whatever you have going on because man when people are ready to turn on you and switch on you like in a quick of a heartbeat trust me they will family friend anyone that's next to you right now that you feel like your best friends telling them all your secrets pillow talking that person could turn on you tomorrow what it's like once i've seen how quick people can 
like gossip about you and speak about you and turn on you and shit. It's like, bro, you might as well create your own army. See, I learned to create my own army now because I know if the next person does turn on me, who cares? Yeah, you know I mean, I don't really need your ass. This is why I just laugh now when people turn on me because I already made my own army. So it's like, okay. You're just another individual that I just don't have to look at anymore. I'm telling you. That's what they, you want to get to that point in life where you're just another individual that I just look at. Yeah, you know I mean, say like they were, they were such an important person to you. You're like, you know what I mean, you're always saying hello to them, giving them all these nice gestures and shit. It's like, okay, you remember I can take all this leverage away from you and just make you out to be a no one to me. I'm telling you. And that's what you do, disrespectful fools out here that do things to you to put you under. You put them under by treating them as a no one. I'm telling you, bro, you got to get in the habit of not putting these people's feelings and their... Um, I'm telling you, no, don't put these people's feelings and... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and whatever they really, I mean, how thinking how they're gonna feel about whatever you're gonna say first, bro. Because see, they won't be caring how they speak about you behind the scenes with other people. They won't be caring how they how their opinions will hurt you. They, I'm telling you, people don't care about you, bro. Once you realize, bro, you won't even say nothing. Literally, I'm telling you, understand just to make a channel and just follow your your purpose and just leave people alone out here. I'm telling you. It's an evil world, and trust me, I've seen it all, mate. Gossiping, malicious gossiping. Man, people, uh, bro, once I've seen your own family members can do, uh, like, malicious and horrible things to you, I wonder what, I, wa I wonder what other people can do out here that ain't in your family that other strangers can do out here. This is why I say to a lot of you guys that are introverts and just, you know what I mean, following your own purpose in life, bro, Make sure you set up heavy boundaries where you can just eliminate people out here. When I mean eliminate, like, I mean kill. Because, bro, people are like, they're like, they're like, they're like wolves in sheep's clothing. They're, they're literally, they're, they're ready to pounce on you at any moment. They'll give you the evil eye, everything, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't be thinking people's your friend out here. Literally, you really got to wake up to this world and wake up to how a lot of things work and how a lot of these folks work. Because now that I know how a lot of these folks work, yeah, you know I mean, like, doing malicious shit behind closed doors for no reason is like, whoa, you got to be careful. Because I had people plotting on my life and I didn't even do nothing to them. Literally, imagine imagine how, how devilish you have to be in your own reality and how low very brief you have to be to be plotting on someone else's life without them out even knowing and yet you've done nothing to them. I'm telling you, bro, once I realised people were doing that shit behind closed doors, I make sure I don't even give them that sort of even power to even do that by even speaking to them. I'm telling you, bro, don't even give people the power to even do things like that. The only reason why people can do things like that in your life is by you giving them power by speaking to them giving them things getting used by them i'm telling you stop doing for people that are not a part of your inner circle and it's not you know i mean a part of your respected people i'm telling you don't be giving your that's what I, one thing I, another thing i realized well don't be giving your respect out to people out here that don't deserve it like yeah because they live next to you like you have to be respectful and yeah, you know I mean, nice to them because they're your neighbours or something. Don't be, I'm telling you, bro, don't be friendly to people that are just because they're your neighbours or something. I'm telling you, because I've seen it all, bro. People can switch in here at any moment. I'm telling you. Imagine you're being, one day you're being generous to your neighbours and then the next day they just turn out to be some people that want to kill you and come after you for no reason. That's what I mean. Never give, people will take your kindness and weakness out here like you're some fool. Actually, make them be the full by just cutting their fucking ass off. But I'm telling you, because people that perceive you to be nice will never feel like you're going to cut them off. But I'm telling you, so you just showed on the whole opposite side of you by just getting rid of their ass. Because trust me, no one ever cuts them off. So they'll probably be thinking about you all day, every day, actually.
times. But yeah, man. It's just a sneaky society, I'm telling you. Heavy and sneaky out here. With that gossiping and the hate that they have for you within. I'm telling you, when you're a high vibrational being, everyone hates you. It's like they have secret hatred for you. And them demons inside get rattled when they think about it. It's like Dylan. He's like, oh shit, him. He just got... It's their demons just get rattled because they know your, your energy. They felt your energy at one point in your life, I'm telling you. It's like when people can feel your energy in their life, it's like they have to do everything in their power to get rid of it or get rid of you or put you under the mud. So they can lower your energy. I'm telling you, people just want to make you just like them. Understand? This is why I tell you, don't become an infected victim and become another, you know I mean, uh, another body to them. You know I mean, they already have enough bodies with how much people they've done their dirt to. Don't let them get you chosen ones. I'm telling you, people wish they can get a, a, get us to be just like them. Low vibrational, going back and forth, doing hateful things, actually. <laughs> But yeah, man. Because I realise it's like, what do I even need to say anything to now? It's like, I have all this attention on my channel, making all these videos, and it's like, what do I even need to say to you? Yeah, you know I mean, if I see you, I don't have to say nothing to you. This why I don't say nothing, but people might feel like you're you're rude or you, you're you're harboring hate or resentment resentment for them because you ain't speaking to them or you ain't dealing with them. But more time, if they done the exact same thing to you, they wouldn't be dealing with you neither. I'm telling you, just treat people how they treat you. Literally, if people are doing weird things to you and shit, trust me, remove them from your life and they'll understand very quickly why you you done what you done. Because it's like people are just, I'm telling you, they're all one-sided, bro. It's like they'll do things to you, not liking if you've done the exact same thing to them telling you but man people just want to fill up their egos out here by hurting other people but see do you know what you do you just remove your access you just take your access away from these people in your life don't even speak to them acknowledge them look at them nothing just cut them off cold turkey dead make the, just make these people dead in your life bro trust me they'll come trying to run back and try to be friendly with you again Literally, but see, don't even bother. Literally, close it off fully on these people. Ignore them completely. Even if they say anything to you, ignore them. That's one thing I realized, bro. When you come across these people from the past that you like, yeah, you know I mean, left and yeah, that you elevated from, don't even bother even speaking to them. Just walk past them, leave them alone, and don't involve yourself in their life. Because see, that's how we got into most of these problems in the first place is by speaking to these people. So. You know what? Let's do the complete opposite. Let's ignore these people. And let's see where that's going to get us. I'm sure it'll get us very far ignoring them. Because they, we ain't giving them no energy, nigga. And if they want to try to get violent and want to get all forced, uh, like, forced their way into our, in our life. Just end their life, bro. That's one thing I've got in the habit of. Like, I'm just going to end people. Literally, you've got to get in the habit of this. Ended these people's life in a heartbeat. Don't be caring about these people's lives and their well-being or nothing, bro. Because I'm telling you, bro, I've seen at the lowest steps of life, people don't be caring about you and your life and your well-being and how you feel and your, if anything. I'm telling you, they'll rather see you down, out, and depressed, and just hate yourself and do all sorts of things to yourself than help you to and uplift you and bring you back to your, you I mean, your best version. I'm telling you, people rather see you down and out here. It's weird. It's like. Why would you want to see someone down and out? Yeah, you know I mean. But they they want you because they like to see other people hurt. It's like it makes them feel good knowing that you 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 you're you're crying or you you're you're feeling hurt or you don't you, like you know I mean or you know, you know what I mean you don't you don't feel good about what they've done. But I'm telling you, they feel good. This is why I say, bro, you gotta understand how sick people are out here. Trust me. This is how this is what I mean, bro. That how look how sick that. Look how sick that sounds. And see, like it's like now that you know, bro, it's like you got you gotta be ten times as more cool than the people. And it's like now that I know 
that how cruel they can be. It's like you gotta be ten times crueler, telling you. It's the matrix, and we gotta be steps ahead of individuals because see, they're already steps ahead of us of all their evil wickedness and all the things that they do behind closed doors. So we gotta be ten steps ahead of them by just saying nothing to their ass and ignoring them. I'm telling you, bro, the best advice I can give a lot of you out here is just ignore it, ignore people out here from the past and ignore f flipping just don't be in these putting all your energy into these people's lives that don't concern you i'm telling you as i said just because someone's your neighbor don't feel like you have to say hello to them or whatever i'm telling you just what part i'm telling you bro once you get in the mindset of just thinking abundant and thinking that you can find other have other options and you don't have to worry about these people trust me Trust me, these people, trust me, everyone will learn, bro, that you're not no one to mess with. Because, see, now they ain't talking to people and it's just, just, just cut, cutting people off like nothing and just ignoring people. Trust me, they're thinking twice about how they come at me now. And literally, because that's what I realised, is like, the more you just cut people off and just get rid of them out of your life, they'll think twice about coming at you with some bullshit, bro, literally. And you want to put people in the mindset of losing you. If you don't put people in the mindset of thinking, feel like you're always going to be about. Because when they, when people feel like you're always going to be about, they feel like they can treat you any way and do anything they want to you. Because you're being cool to them for them. Actually, don't ever give people that leverage where they feel like you're being cool to them for them. Because they'll take advantage, advantage of you and, you know I mean, put you in a, put you in a shadow. Because I'm just at the point where I have zero tolerance, you know what I mean? You can't me some bullshit, I'm going to take your ass out, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you, don't be caring about these people's lives, neither. Because I'm I've seen it all. Now that I've seen how how much people don't care about your life, don't be caring about their life, neither. If they ever try to put their hands in you, you know what I mean? If they ever try to put their hands in you or some bullshit, make sure you... You end their life, bro, I'm telling you. Because I'm just in that mindset of just ending these people's life now. Come me some sort of weird way you're gone mate i don't care bro literally don't be caring because people are starting to see people are starting to see that we can reciprocate that same energy yeah i mean you're gonna come at me with hateful energy no problem mate because i'll just take your jaw off your face if you're hateful you can be after that when you can't speak no more I'm telling you <coughs> you just gotta reciprocate that same sort of hateful energy back at these fools so they know to back their fucking mm -hmm. ass up because see people don't want to deal with me like that no more because they know i'll just put them in a the hospital bro i'm telling you and that's what you gotta let people know like i ain't the one to fuck with you know what i mean because you're not kind of me of hateful energy no problem mate i'll just take out all of you of violence and let's see how you like it when you're just on the floor not just there crumbling because it's like these people won't get the hint otherwise it's like They'll do so much shit to you, it's like, until you blow up on them, they'll be like, why are you doing this for? And it's like, it's because of what you're doing, I'm telling you. But yeah, man, trust me, it's a cruel world, I realise. <laughs> and this is why I don't be caring about no one except for me, literally. This is why I just got in a mindset of this, I'm telling you, but I'm just in a mindset that's cutting people off one time, bro. Literally, they, they won't be no talking. I don't say nothing to you or nothing, bro. You're just gone. Fuck you, literally, just like that. Because, trust me, when people are good and ready, they will, they will say whatever they have to say about you and do what they do and cut you off and do whatever they want. So no problem, mate. Take your power back by doing what they do to you, to them. Okay, see, I'm starting to love having more power and taking my power back just by cutting individuals off because it's like, I don't even have to look at y'all no more. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm telling you, it's the best to know that you don't have to look at these certain individuals no more. So it's like, whoa, I can talk all the shit about you at once. It's like, I don't need your fucking ass. I'm telling you.
Cold Chief. Tell you the Cold Chief is known has your back, nigga. Have your own back. Don't be out here crying. Because, see, I could have been out here crying, depressed, feeling sorry for myself when people are doing what they're doing to me. But, see, that's what they would want. That's what they want. They want you to be full sorry for yourself and be down and out, crying, telling you, bro, you got to rise yourself up and just rise up like a phoenix and just wake up every day knowing that you can overcome the situation that people put you through. I'm telling you, always overcome. Don't ever dwell in to what they send you away in that negative energy because that's what they want. So you do, you throw back all that energy their way. And trust me, they will back up eventually. Because that's what I've done to people. Yeah, you know, I did. I just threw the exact same energy back their way and cut their fucking ass off, bro. And that's what they get. Because they never expected it from, especially from someone like you. But man, understand it's a cold world. And this is the cold truth. That's all for your video. Stay tuned and I'm out. Peace.